it's a beautiful Thursday morning right here at Ibri Amanfo. I'm heading to site because of course I have to go and check on the updates, look at the new projects that we have, check on the fence wall, the green path. We promised to give great updates to you guys so that's what we're doing. I personally decided to do this intro right here because I just want to show you guys how beautiful Ibri is. It's raining heavily in Accra but I'm just enjoying this you know subtle showers right here. It's just a peaceful very calm place to be at so just come with me let's go to site and get some work done I just got here, Gracie to phase three. I love how busy the whole place is because we promised that we have to complete a couple of developments before the year ends. By December, this whole place needs to transform. So, you know, the workers are on site, they are putting in their 100, making sure that everything goes on very, very smoothly. And I love the, the changes that I'm seeing. It looks amazing. I see some progress with the fence wall. The last time that I came, it wasn't until this level, but I see that, you know, they are getting the work done. They've been able to move it from this section all the way to the back. And I know that with time is going to go all around the developments. And that's what I'm, you know, highly anticipating. When it comes to the green park, as you can see, the sidewalks have been paved. It's looking very strong and sturdy. That's amazing. And then we have the sections in the middle that the grass will be planted at. So yeah, there's a lot of work ongoing. The block factory is still, you know, operating. They're producing blocks. And these are the blocks that they're using to, you know, put up the structures that we have. Final thing that I'm so excited about, the security gate post. The last time that I came here, there was no demarcation, but now I see that they are, you know, digging trenches. I see boardings around it. They are mixing, you know, concrete, and then they're going to put up the structure very, very soon. So I like the steady progress. I like the pace at which they're moving. And I surely believe that we're going to get every work done by the time that we promised and of course I'm gonna have our director of engineers come in and then you know speak to the technical aspects of everything that is going on here so let's look forward to that So just like I said, I have our Director of Engineers, Mr. Desmond Enchi, right here with me. I, I was rambling on earlier, but I left all the technicalities for you to come and, you know, give us an update on. Ajawa, come to site. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How, How is everything? Doing? I'm doing very well. I'm doing Thank very you. well. The weather is amazing. Yeah, over the last few days, mm -hmm. we've had a few showers. Right. Uh, sometimes it's having the work, but mm -hmm. um, generally it's been fairly okay, okay and work is progressing. That's amazing. I see so much happening. Let's start with, you know, the front of the development. Right now, what they're building here, I'm going to assume is the security gate post. Absolutely. Wow. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. And, and it's <laughs> even going to be bigger than what you're seeing. Um, wow. This is just uh, the first phase that's mm -hmm. supposed to still go a bit further. Okay. But like I always keep mentioning, uh, one of the key things we look at as a company is that we don't want to destroy crops. Right. So we allow them to be harvested first mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. we do whatever we have to do. Yeah. So it's going to be bigger than what you're saying. Okay. So after, this is a farm for the locals, right? Absolutely. Okay. So they'll come and get their cassava and then we'll extend it. Thank you. That is one thing that I actually commend RKE for, for allowing the locals to, you know, produce their, you know, crops and everything. It's good. Yeah. I remember when we demarcated phase three, the, the earlier section, there was yeah. some exactly. uh, pineapple plantations Pineapple, we also had too. maize and all. Yes. So that's what we do. Mm -hmm. we, we, are, we are not in to destroy anything. And okay. our key uh, motive is to be able to help the indigenous themselves, yeah. to be able to help them grow. We are trying to manage the area very well. Right. We're doing proper demarcation. Mm -hmm. Uh, allocating where we have to uh, have grains, right. where we have to have farmlands, mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be. 
all these things are some of the key things that we do okay. to be able to help the development of this area. That's wonderful. Okay, so with regards to the security uh, gate post, what is currently happening? Are they digging? Yeah, so, I see so, digging. <laughs> so what happened was the machine had to, first of all, excavate. We right. don't call it digging, we call it excavation. Excavation. So after the excavation, the, uh, where we will have the columns or the mm -hmm. pillars, mm -hmm. they're supposed to be base mass over there. Okay. So we're going to cast the blinding right now. Blinding? Yes. What's a blinding? So blinding is more or less uh, defined as a weak concrete. Okay. Uh, weak doesn't mean that it's, it's not functional. Okay. It's not functional, but it is laid. It's a concrete bed laid okay. before you have the uh, base mass sitting on top of it. Okay. Reason being that rots are going to corrode mm -hmm. when it comes to contact with moisture yeah. or with soil. Mm -hmm. But when it is in concrete, mm -hmm. it's able to perform better. Oh, I see. So we don't want the, the rot to touch the soil itself. Mm -hmm. So the blinding is casted. Yeah. We do the setting out or the marking out for the columns mm -hmm. and then we cast the foundation. I see. That is interesting. So, how how long do you anticipate that uh, you know the putting up of the uh, security gate post will be? Well, what I can say is that uh, by the end of this year, yes, just like I told you, mm -hmm. we are hopeful to have uh, it flying, okay, and you'll be able to see very well when you come in here. Wonderful. Perhaps we can even go into the security post itself to have some interviews and all. Yeah. But this is just the prelim of what is happening. Okay. Like I, t I told you, yeah. as you're doing the weekly update, mm -hmm. you're able to see the progression Progressive. day in and day out, um, what is happening. Mm -hmm. um, as, as you can see now, the, the sun is it's blazing. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You which can is, never tell with the weather here. It's which is nice. good for us. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good for us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we know that between now and, and the end of the year, we'll yeah. have some intermittent uh, showers and yeah. rains to yeah. be able yeah. to stop um, and then disturb us more. But we, we're hopeful to be able to make very good, good progress. progress yes. yes and we're still you know maintaining the uh, materials that we're producing here to complete the security absolutely absolutely. Okay. Okay, okay, absolutely okay okay that's wonderful okay so next update let's talk about the fence wall <laughs> i see that it's gone so far all the way to the back yes and they're you know still on it putting the blocks let's together. do a walk a walk uh, on yes, sides let me show you a few things okay so the security fence wall mm -hmm. is also progressing just like you have seen yeah now the columns have been uh, casted mm -hmm. and you can now see the walkway for yourself uh, the wow. walkway we have been talking about this yes. is the green part itself we're going to very soon cover it up and then this space that we're working in is mm -hmm. where we're going to have the black soil okay. for us to be able to start with our carpet grass and all. Um, again, we looking at perhaps having a coping on top of the fence wall. A what? A coping. Coping? When it's done, I will, I will talk about okay. it. <laughs> all right, so this is the height we're looking at. Exactly. Okay. So you can now walk on. And Ooh. just like I was saying earlier on, it's supposed to be able to take at least two people at a time. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can see we are working freely. Yeah. There will be rock gardens all over here. Wow. There'll be grains, there'll be seeds, there'll be trees. And it's still a work in progress. We are mm -hmm. still uh, doing some concrete works at the middle portion yeah. of the whole estate. And these are the kind of things we talk about and we have started implementation already it looks so good yeah so 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 good i'm impressed thank you i am impressed i think with every development before the demarcation you would think the size is not big enough but now i was standing at the front and i just looked at the green park and i said wow in the beginning when you said two acres i actually did not believe <laughs> that it was fully two acres but now i can see it yes it's huge absolutely very huge wow and day in and day out we keep making making modifications mm -hmm. to see if we can be able to, as it were, make it look better than yeah. what what we even anticipate. Mm -hmm. So it's still a work in progress, yeah. and sometimes we want people to see, or we want I want your audience to see that uh, we are not just doing any shoddy work. Yeah. Um, you, you see that the, the thickness of concrete yes. that we are doing here, yes. because yes. it yes. and the quality of mm -hmm. concrete that we have here. Yeah. Reason being that we we are anticipating that this green park. Mm -hmm if not last at all, should be able to last uh, uh, between 75 years wow. and more. So we have to be able to 
do our work very well. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why we even had to start with the block works first yeah. before putting the concrete bed on top of it. What was the reason? So the, the reason is that we want to protect the concrete itself. Okay, okay. We want it to last longer. Yeah. We could have just, uh, you know, uh, spread the concrete yeah. on, on top of it and then mm -hmm. do our finishing on top of it without necessarily uh, putting the block. We are using the blocks as a way of uh, maintaining okay. the concrete and ensuring okay. that the concrete bed is laid, is sitting on on something. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. That is wonderful. Can we go to that end? Okay. I want to show them the road that we're going to be closing because I know majority of them have been here. I had a client that called and they were like, "Okay, but I came. I used this road, but you're saying it's going to be closed." Okay. and how are they going to access it and everything so i just explained it to them that the security post will be the only entry to the development exactly. like we've said constantly so this whole side is going to be closed yeah so what's going to happen is that uh you see we're going to continue this uh -huh. part yeah we have already done the excavation for that side yeah already so we at the moment because we are working at a security post yes, area yes. we have to allow for access over yeah, here yeah so yeah. you're going to excavate this one it's going to go straight to hit this one that <coughs> wall right there yes no no not the wall not the wall there is a foundation here oh okay oh so the this wall is going to join in this way. yeah so, so this one this is way. going to fly this way oh. then from here it will close over here i think i see the picture now according to you know the demarcation absolutely. layouts that we have absolutely 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 ah, that is wonderful absolutely so it's going to close here mm -hmm. so our homeowners or clients are not going to use this road okay they're just going to use the main um, entrance yeah. or entry point yeah into the estate i see that is wonderful and that will just add the security for everybody absolutely we constantly say that that is one key thing uh when it comes to the peace of mind that we are preaching yes if you yes. have everything and you don't have security you're not safe absolutely so it's very very important you can see for yourself the wall is flying yes please it's going very fast yes yes and, wow and all these blocks produced by us that is wonderful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this will probably be delved deeper by the head of marketing, but let's say we are done with the fence wall and then we're done with the security gate post as well. Will the block factory move to phase one? Yeah, so the block factory is temporarily here because mm -hmm. of um, the works that we're doing right. here. It's definitely going to move. Mm -hmm. uh, what we, 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 we're seeking to do is to be able to have um should i call it a warehouse right. we're going to be looking at cement mm -hmm. iron rods mm -hmm. uh mold right. for uh our columns mm -hmm. and even production of blocks as well right. so we want to have when we say one-stop shop there's a reason why we keep using that yeah we are not using it loosely right we we understand exactly what we're looking at yeah. and we keep on enhancing on what we keep on saying yeah day in day out we keep improving mm -hmm. and we'll get better, yeah. and, better. better and better the only key thing is that be truthful to you with, with yourself yeah. be truthful with anybody you are having dealings mm -hmm. with and do exactly what you have promised that is wonderful well i know a lot of people can't wait to you know start their project and be able to um you know patronize us when it comes to building materials and they are very well assured that they'll get nothing but the best and let me even chip in this phase four mm -hmm. It's just here. Yeah, that's what we are seeing at the top here. Where the high tension is, yes. right? It's, it's even before. Before. So in fact, phase three and phase four will be sharing the boundary. Their cousins. Their cousins. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's it's a beautiful sight. There's so much. Yeah. So 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 much. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be the one to break the icing on the cake. Yeah. But what I would say is that you know. That is it right there. So okay. beautiful. It's a it's a it's a bit uh, higher, higher at some portions. Okay. And I want one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it will be amazing, honestly. I'm looking at let's say two years, three years from now, when you know almost everybody that has bought has built, and we have a stunning you know development, you know, full of people living happily, realizing their dreams. That is what we're selling and I can't wait for that to come into full fruition. Can we touch on the price point for phase four? Um, I'll leave I that 
I know people are waiting. <laughs> like there's a so, long queue. So, so what is happening at phase four is that since you have asked, I will perhaps talk uh, oh, mid, talk mid few. Yes, please. So phase four again is going. Uh, we, we, are, we are going to immediately start building the mm -hmm. security fence wall. Oh, right away. Right away, and okay. we are we are equally going to work on the security post itself. Right now, we. There is a huge plan ongoing. We are even looking okay. at portions of it. We are still planning portions of it going as service plots. Okay. Service plots means that we are not going to come back to you again. Let's contribute for roads, for lead drains, sidewalks, for sidewalks, yeah. for street lights. Mm -hmm. Everything, including water and electricity, will, will be, be done by will be done by us, and then it will wow. taken care of uh, take, taken care of by by us. Okay. Again, what we, do, we, are, we are trying to do is that at the time you are coming in, yeah. As a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. we are going to give you models. Okay. Two, three, four bedrooms, mm -hmm. various designs. Mm -hmm. You can be able to choose one, okay. make modifications. We have a long-term plan for you to be able to make payment mm -hmm. so that your project starts immediately. Wow. That is some, and we will be the ones undertaking these projects. Yes. Yes. That is actually very, very cool because I know people that have bought the land and they are very, very confused as to how to go about building their homes. So, so, if, so yeah. what we are doing is that we are solution driven. Yeah. And we look at the issues and try to offer solutions exactly. to them or the, the problems and then offer solutions mm -hmm. to them. So what we're doing is that, like I mentioned, yeah. it will be in sectors. Mm -hmm. So in each sector, mm -hmm. when we roll out, yeah. all those who are ready for that particular sector, once you have chosen your plots yeah. or your lots, mm -hmm. and you have been able to uh, choose your design, yeah. some can be able to make the payment over a period of maybe two years. Oh. Yeah. So whilst the payment is ongoing, mm -hmm. you're building, you are seeing the progression. And, wow. and whilst you're seeing the progression, you also be able to start with, now the, the reason is that we don't want the situation where let's say, Plot number one, mm -hmm. three, five. Mm -hmm. There is development going on there. Two and three, there is nothing happening. Yeah. No. Once we, we pick a, a, a sector, yeah. the sector has to be complete. Exactly. When we are done with the roads and everything, we stop tracks mm -hmm. or any heavy vehicular movements all, um, around that Can area. Yeah. And then we leave it only for the, the salon cars and exactly. the, their, the their Mercedes and the Range Rovers. For them to be able to yeah. enjoy their roads. <laughs> oh, whilst we focus on another sector. Se oh, okay. That is an amazing plan, yes. honestly. That so, is so we are going to build progressively mm -hmm. from one sector mm -hmm. to another sector mm -hmm. to another sector. Mm -hmm. And so those who have already completed, when they come in here, mm -hmm. you should have your electricity, your exactly. water, everything. everything. Already. You don't have to wow. come in and go and rent mm -hmm. or stay somewhere on Airbnb. Yeah. You have your home already. So by the time that they are done paying and the project is complete, the, room, uh, the home is ready to move in. Thank you. They just pack their bags and then come in. We call it Tanky. Tanky, exactly. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. I'm sure a lot of people will be very, very um, excited about this Absolutely. initiative. And yep. I think it's going to go wonderfully. Yep. And it's going to purposely serve and be very, very beneficial to majority of our clients. Absolutely. That is great. Well, I think today's video has been extremely informative. You've had some great exclusives. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that unfortunately phase three is sold out, but phase four is underway. So come in while it's still hot. Don't wait. I know a lot of people that, especially phase three, they waited till the last minute. And now you'll be crying in your home. Don't do that. We always say that the best time for acquisition is now. It's now. Exactly. And let me also say this, as much yes, as I, sp I spoke about the model, mm -hmm. we are also looking at other models where perhaps if somebody still wants to purchase their land, yeah. they will still be able They'll to still do be that. able to. And then, you know, the price kind of point will be out shortly. Just that okay. there is a little upgrade okay. um, with our last pricing. Mm -hmm. it's, there's a little upgrade. Okay. I think it, now it's going for the 90,000 yes. Ghana cities. Ghana cities. That's ooh, if you are doing ooh. outright and 100,000 Ghana if cities if you are doing installments okay. over six months. Okay. That's what we are doing. And then we are doing that for those who also... So you see, what we do is that we always offer options. Yes. Yeah. So that you are able to choose which one best seems Works to you. for you, exactly. exactly. It's, ni it's nice to have, you know, a lot of options. And I think for everything that you've spoken on, and I know there's more to come also, yeah. I believe that um, 
phase four is going to be great and it's it just serves perfectly for the price point as well i'll be i'll be inviting you when i start grading yes please i would i would, <laughs> I would love to come i'll come you know take the updates and then share it with our audience so please if you want to be a part of the phase four development the time is now just contact us on all of our outlets reach us to us via our social media everything you need is on the screen just come to us and then we'll make your property acquisition smooth seamless effortless amazing before you know it in the twinkle of an eye you're in your property and you're living the dream okay we love to give you these updates so subscribe to the channel like the video share it and you know we'll be back with more insightful episodes stay tuned <music>